Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are doing an acrylic pour painting on a 10 by 10 canvas. This is part of the 30 days, 30 different acrylic pour series, and today's will acrylic pour is a reverse dip. Let me make sure I say that correctly. I've already got a very thin base layer of uh, Mix Me A Girl pouring paint white down, and then we'll be using glow green, sunflower yellow, electric lime, and pink tulip. I also have a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of this black with silicone oil in it. I'm gonna get started and then just see how I feel if I wanna use that or not. I'm gonna do the green glow last so that it shows up the best. Um, I don't want to get too covered with the other colors. So I think I'll start with the pink tulip. And she's done, Mix Me Girl's done this technique a couple times and there is one specific painting I love of hers that I am so mad that I didn't purchase. <laughs> so I'm going to try to do that technique. I absolutely love the reverse dip technique. It's definitely in my top five favorites. Um, but I really like the way that, that this one of hers came out. So we're going to try to emulate that. So far I have no idea. I didn't go back and rewatch the video, just full disclosure. I'm just guessing at this point. And then I do want a lot of this green glow on there because I want it to be extra glowy. Okay, I think I am going to take my gloves off for this next part because I do want it to be a little bit more precise. I'm using clean wrap or plastic wrap, the generic word for it, <laughs> um, for my reverse dip um, item. So what I like to do is kind of pull it out, set it gently across the canvas, ideally over the entire thing, but we're just going to roll with that. I get the one with the little slicer cutter thingy on it. In a perfect world, it works, especially while recording. <laughs> um, there, And then it makes it super easy, in theory, <laughs> to... To do that oh we got a big old air bubble in here never actually had that happen before um can we just smush the air bubble out i think nope not yet oh all the things are happening right now all right lay down all right i think that's good so for this technique what i like to do is kind of just make sure that all of the paint is touching the saran wrap, the plastic wrap, and then I think the way she did it for the one that I really, really liked is she pulled up from all the corners and kind of twisted at the same time. I don't know if I'm talented enough to do that all together. So we'll see. Try to get them pulling and then twisting. All right, minus the little drips at the end. I think that was fairly successful. Um, one of my kind of tricks to pulls of paint in the middle is to get a disposable plastic syringe and kind of just, and kind of just suck it up. Uh, Cause I don't really want this puddle here. It was not part of the plan. So what I like to do, take the syringe Get rid of the parts that you don't like, but don't just let this sit in here. Go ahead and put it onto the parchment or plastic because it will make a pretty awesome skin. This one has lots of bubbles, but those will pop on its own. And yes, this is exactly what I was hoping to achieve with this technique. Um, I don't think I actually want to do anything with it. And I will bring you in for a close up. All right, here we are for the close-up. I think since I left, last left you, some really amazing cells have come through here. Through that pink tulip, a little bit on this lime green here, electric lime, sorry. And in the middle, the middle looks amazing. I wanna show you this section. 
So you can see the difference between the glow green and the white and you can see kind of the little cells that are in that as well. Let me get the lights turned off in here and we'll see what it looks like glowing. All right, so this is what it looks like glowing. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at those glowing cells. It doesn't like to zoom in when it's dark, so it's hard to get a close up, but I'll see if I can trick it a little bit. You can definitely see it in there. This one's, oh, every time I do a glow in the dark piece, I'm like, this is my favorite every time so right now this is my new favorite glow in the dark painting let me know what you think of this technique and colors in the comments below thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share and do what makes you happy pancakes at 2 a.m i'm facing all my fears i just hope that y'all aren't still at walmart because they've got syrup there and i don't